And camera set. Action, Bob. Say the line. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the backlog. We're two brothers of a big collection of games, and we're gonna say what we're gonna talk about. Every game we've ever bought, we put into an Excel spreadsheet for cataloging all of our games. And today, this day, we're gonna pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we played it, Bob. <laughs> yes. Well, yes. Where are we? We're at the Video Game Trading Post here on Long Island, New York. The best retro gaming store in the state, country, universe, world. universe. Because we've ever, been to every one. Yes. If you ever find yourself in the Nassau County area and you need yourself a retro game, accessory, or console, come to this store and buy it. 263. We're getting a lot of 200s. Good. 263. Celeste! Yeah! Nintendo Switch. Baby, here we go. Amazing game. You've never played I've it. I've never played it, so just this is another Bob Wolf special. God, I hate these. <laughs> uh, it's an amazing game. Uh, so it's a platformer. Okay. My cup of tea. Okay all about it, I didn't uh, play through to 100% it. Okay. I probably should have, but it gets really hard, especially when you try to get all the little strawberries. Right. It has a lot of similarities to Super Meat Boy. Which I have played. Yes, and you like Super Meat Boy. I do. It's very much like Super Meat Boy, except uh, the levels are really long. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, in Super Meat Boy, you, you, the levels are really short, and they're kind of like almost one screen, yeah. you know? Celeste has screens. That okay. you jump between, kind of. Yeah. There's like slight puzzle elements, maybe. What we talked about in Lightfall, you have the boxes that appear under you yeah. when you double jump. In Celeste, you have a dash, and you can only okay. do that once midair. And yeah, then later okay. on in the game, spoiler alert, you can do a double oh. dash. Uh, but there's also these little orbs that you can break through, and then they give you another dash. So you can dash into it, and then you can dash again after gotcha. you get it. Uh, and that adds a lot of crazy, like, elements like there might be a wall of spikes on the ground but there will be an orb there so you dash into the orb and then you right, can dash right. back up you can do some wall jumps um it just got everything that i that i need in a platformer i don't know who made it do you have that up uh i do it was uh the publisher and developer is matt makes games uh matt, good old matt directed and designed by matt thornton uh thorson sorry um, oh these people also made towerfall and now celeste is in towerfall for the oh, Switch, okay. when it's coming out for the Switch. I gotcha. Yeah. Uh, it is also available on Linux, Mac OS, uh, Windows PC, uh, the Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. How worth it is it to release a game on Linux? I don't know. <laughs> I know a lot of indie games release on Linux, because mm -hmm. like Humble Bundle and Steam, like you can put games on Linux. Well, it but, came out in January, yeah, January. Yeah. Uh, very long time ago, and it's still possibly my game of the year. Really? Yeah, Celeste. Uh, the messenger's up there. Yeah, the messenger's up there for game of the year. But uh, this is this this I think takes it for me because this is, again this is everything that I need in a platformer. The messenger has a lot of good elements that you get eventually. Mm -hmm. Like you you pick up different uh, you get different uh, upgrades that change the platforming a little bit. Like you right. get a wingsuit that make you makes you like float a little bit. Uh, Celeste barely changes the mechanics, mm -hmm. but it changes them enough. To, to keep the gameplay fresh. Like when you get towards the end of the game, they give you that double dash and uh, it changes the game at the very end. And then you can use that to get the, the strawberries that are harder to reach. Gotcha. It's hard. It gets hard at, right. uh, towards the end. So I think it's worth it because you learn very quickly mm -hmm. while you're playing the game. Uh, I could see people getting frustrated just like Super Meat Boy. Yeah. Super Meat Boy I didn't think was that hard. Uh, this uh, is very hard, but yeah. Yeah, Super Meat Boy was harder than this. Yeah. So if you like Super Meat Boy, then you will very much like Celeste. Uh, Celeste can get difficult if you're going for the strawberries. Uh, other than that, how long was it? Uh, probably about like eight hours. Okay. I'm going to actually look it up. That's not that bad. I feel like eight hours is a good like length for a indie platformer. Yeah, it's yeah. A, a, eight hours I think is a good length for any game. For any game. Yeah, I don't no, wanna, definitely. I don't want to play any game yeah. for too long. Yeah, main story, eight hours. Eight hours Nailed it. There you go. Main plus extra, 12 and a half. And completionist, 35 and a half if you're a completionist, if you're Gerard. Yeah. If you are Gerard Khalil. Pro yeah. Jared, the contortionist. That's his name. None of that is correct, but okay. Uh, I think this is one of the best games on the Switch, and I would highly recommend it. You need to play it. I will do that once I beat South Park and uh, Lego City Undercover and uh, finally play Fortnite on the Switch, and uh, that, that one redneck game, you got me. You don't have to play anything that I give you. 
Well, that one actually looks really cool, so I want to play oh, okay. it. Um, and Doom, I want to play through Doom again. Uh, and I found out I have a level of Mario Odyssey I didn't play yet, the darker side of the moon. Oh, you got to uh, do that. I, um, it's like the best part of the Sonic game. Sonic Mania Plus, I want to actually like play in encore mode like seriously for once. I got a lot of Switch games. You I need got, to get yeah. There. What yeah. the hell's wrong with you? I, yeah, I also got <laughs> Wolfenstein, uh, the New Colossus, the downloadable stuff on the PS4. I want to finish. I want to finally play Resident Evil Seven. Spider Man's coming out. Uh, You're stressing me out. <laughs> Dishonored Two. I need to play. <laughs> you no, know, you gotta do stream, and then you'll then yeah. you'll get to play everything you want. Yeah. You'll just have people yell at you the whole time. Yeah. Uh, Sounds like fun. I love streaming platforms like this. Yeah. Because this is my shtick. <laughs> But once you beat it, then there's nothing else to do. Right. But I mean, I guess I can get the strawberries. But yeah. maybe I'll have to go back to it. I'll pr you know what? Game of the year season, when it's time to decide, I'll go back and start getting some of the strawberries. Because uh, then I'll be able to tell if mechanically it uh, holds up to all the other games that came out this year. Because this right. has one of the best jumping mechanics in any platform that's out for the Switch right now. So highly, highly recommend Celeste. It's only It, it launched at $20. So probably still around there. Probably still yeah. around $20. So give it a shot. Yes. What do you guys think about Celeste? Have you played it? Do you agree with Bob that it is game of the year? Or do you think he's a dummy? Let us know down below or anywhere on the internet. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Backlog. If you want more, make sure you're subscribed. Hit you know, that bell icon because every YouTuber tells you to do that. Yeah, not for any other reason. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye. 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 I don't know what camera to wait at. Uh, so All of them. Uh -oh.